Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about the bad baby situation. So if you guys do not know, once again, Daniel Bogoli is out here showing out, okay? So what's going down is this. Grand opening, grand motherfucking closing. So what went down is back on January 15th, Bad Baby went to Instagram and basically she announced to the world that she was quitting social media because she's tired of people coining her a racist and a cultural appropriator because she was wearing braids and she continues to talk with a black scent and all that good stuff, right? So this is what she said on social media. She says, due to my mental health, I will be taking a small break from this app. I hate to say it, but y'all won. Congrats, mission accomplished. Y'all made this little 16-year-old completely lose it. Social media has not only made me who I am, also is the every reason I can't sleep at night. Imagine being called a racist white cunt every second of the day. I show off a tattoo, they say I'm trying to be black. I defend myself, then boom, I'm labeled a racist. There's no winning as a celebrity on this app. Everything I do will be considered wrong. Imagine being me for a second. You get a cute new wig and want to show it off. Then the minute you post it, your mood is instantly killed because the comment section is flooded with, this slut wants to be black so bad while wearing a straight blonde wig. This shit is really draining. When I do come back, I will be turning all my comments off. Have a nice day. So that is what she said. And this is the butterfly tattoo on her leg that people were equating to her being black that makes no damn sense i didn't know specific tattoos were equated with a particular race but it is what it is so now you know we all assume we'd be free from this attention whore because that's what she is and at this point i don't even believe that she's 16 i'm like well i'm confused like She's been 16 for a long damn time, but I digress. So just as we thought she was gone, taking a so-called break from social media, nobody, nobody at all. Here comes Daniel Bagoli. She takes to Instagram and she shows a screenshot of her father posting a message on his Facebook page. So basically her and her father are strange, and this is what he posted. He says, so there's a video of a mentally disturbed mother beating my daughter once again, and it was just removed from her Instagram. But it shows that the mother continuously beats my daughter and the state attorney's office calls it corporal punishment. Hashtag Judge Delegato, you were clueless and you have no idea what my daughter is going through currently. And in the past, you had a responsibility to protect the child and upload my parental rights. You failed. Remember, your election is coming up real soon and your lack of family law slash relations, judgment and your poor decisions made for the best interests of a child will not be ignored. Hashtag Pornhub, hashtag domestic violence, hashtag child exploitation, hashtag Hashtag lewd and lascivious act of a child, computer pornography, hashtag father's rights, hashtag parental rights, hashtag domestic harassment slash stalking. So that is what her father wrote. And when I tell you Danielle was not here for it, honey, she was not here for it. So this is what she said on social media. She goes, I want a restraining order against this man. This is my biological father and also the same man who walked out of my mother when I was three months old for some stripper that he met in Canada and then got married to her March 27th of 2004, the day after my first birthday, which he wasn't even there for. He never wanted to see me. And the one time the court was making him see me, he decided to cancel. This man did not want a damn thing to do with me until I got famous, not to mention and he also canceled his rights away in exchange for 20k this man makes a big deal out of everything i can't even post a video as a joke without this man making it seem like it's more than what it is all he wants is a spotlight when he really needs mental help this man is mentally ill wasn't only cheating on my mama with a stripper but men too hashtag seek help So that is what she wrote on her Instagram page. But then she took it even further. She went on to Instagram Live and she went on literally a six minute rant dragging the hell out of her biological father. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. See ass, dumb ass, stupid ass, cunt ass wife. Stephanie, yeah, you can suck my dick too, you dumb ass bitch. The same shit, the same shit that, oh, they always got to say, oh, my, your, your brothers want to see you. Bitch, you ain't tell, I ain't, you ain't even tell them kids about me until I got famous. And then they wanted to know why we had the same last name. Like, come on, stop that shit. You ain't tell them kids about me ever. I, I always knew I had two brothers. They didn't know they had no fucking. 
fucking sister? Fuck out of here. Stupid ass bitch. Like, what the fuck y'all got? Y'all people are retarded, bro. Y'all people are real life retarded. I just... I, anything, listen. Ira, Stephanie, Isaac, Alon, I wish y'all the best fucking life, but stay the fuck away from me and my business, bro. I don't care about y'all. Y'all was never in my life. I don't got nothing towards them little kids, but listen, if they gonna be here and brainwash and hear the same bullshit that Stephanie and Ira got to say about me, then man, fuck them kids too. I don't give a fuck. How the fuck am I supposed to care about? How am I supposed to care about people that ain't ever gave a fuck about me? This man got married the day after my first birthday. He was not there for my first birthday. This man was getting fucking married to a stripper. Didn't want no nothing to do with my fucking mother. Never wanted nothing to do with her. After I turned three months old, this man was too busy getting on the phone. Getting on the phone with fucking, uh, what's that shit called? Um... You know them, them phone sex shits? Wasting the money to pay the bills on bitches that he never even gonna see. Bitches he on the phone with. The fuck is you doing? My mom wanted to name me Elizabeth. You know why she couldn't name me Elizabeth? Because he was fucking a stripper that had that name. Like, come on. This man, this man got some real life fucking problems, bro. This man needs to seek help. I want a restraining order against him. Like, I swear. I hate this man so much. I swear to God, I would, I would run him over if I seen him. Like I, I would, I would dog this man like he was a female if I seen him. I hate him. I, I wish this man would fucking die. I ain't never wish death on nobody, but I swear to God, I mean it when I say it. I wish this man would fucking die. Easy. Like yeah, my mom, my mom do shit. I add her, add her head sometimes. Like okay, Barbara, you straight? Like what you doing? No, but. Still, like, she she at least has good intentions. At least this kid has, I mean, at least my mom has good intentions. My dad don't got no fucking good intentions. Like, come on, this man never, never wanted nothing to do with me, ever. I didn't know I had a dad. I didn't know about none of that till, till I was probably, like, five, six. I think I asked her when I was, I think I asked her, like, and pre no maybe like four or five when i started asking her because i would see my friends had dads and you know obviously she didn't want to just say oh yeah your dad's not in your life like so she never said nothing about him he didn't want to see me so she didn't have no reason to tell me about him and then now all of a sudden this man want to get on the internet and bash my mother listen you fuck ass punk let me tell you something you ain't did a goddamn motherfucking thing for me my whole life i received one gift from you that i'm sure you didn't even fucking buy i'm sure y'all motherfucking bought it so please i ain't never received shit from you my mother my mother has done everything for me everything you ain't do shit not a damn fucking thing my, after my mother had breast cancer, she stopped working so she could stay home and raise me. What the fuck was you doing? You out playing cop? You didn't give no fucks about me ever. That's what blows my mind. You, I never, you never wanted to see me. The one time that, the one time you were supposed to see me, and I remember because I was already in shit. I'm like, oh, okay, I got this dad supposed to be finna meet him. Oh, you canceled. Oh, let's not even talk about the fact that you sued the village of North Palm for missing my birth. But you wasn't finna go anyways. Like, the fuck? You out here claiming, oh, I'm so scared of my life. Oh my god, I'm so scared of my life. Barbara, Barbara threatened me and my, and my children and my wife. My mom don't give no fucks about none of y'all, okay? So please, please the fuck out of here you talking about you so you feel so threatened but you always got my name in your mouth you think if someone's scared of somebody they always gonna be talking shit about them and they always gonna have something to say about them and they always wanna they always wanna talk talk about you and bring you up in the conversation if he says that he fears his life for her he fears his life for, of my mother he fears his life from her but but you always talking about her leave the damn lady alone he, this man i think that I think that there's there's something wrong. Either he missed my mom or it's something. It it, it it can't no, it's about it's gotta be about the fame. It's really gotta be about the fame because what who what type of person does that shit? What type of person do that? You walk out on a bitch you walk out on a bitch and a kid and a kid at three years three months old. You don't even say where you going. Oh no, 
you you want to you re really 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 want to hear what he, how bad of a person he is? This is the same man who says he fears his life of my mother, my my four foot eleven mother, who I have to fight for at times because she's not even that type of a person. This this exactly what he does, right? While she's pregnant, while she's fucking pregnant, slams her into a table, a glass table at that. Then says something along the lines of. She she tried to shoot me or she's something with a gun. I don't know. Some, or no. Or no. He did. I think he did point a gun at her head. And then he tried to say that she attacked him. Hold on. Now, I don't know if maybe it's just morals or just common fucking sense. But even if a pregnant lady does attack you, you won't throw them into a fucking glass table. All right, you guys. So y'all just watched that really disturbing video. And so first and foremost, I want to say that is definitely a child, one who is hurting. So I'm definitely going to acknowledge her hurt. There's a lot of anger there, a lot of hurt, a lot of animosity. But you never want to wish death on somebody because the same death you're wishing on somebody else is the same grave that you're digging for yourself, okay? So you want to be careful with the whole wishing death thing because you could walk out the door and the same thing can befall you that you're trying to, you know, speak into the environment. The tongue is a very powerful thing, Daniel Bagoli. But with that being said um I definitely feel like she has father issues but I feel like a lot of her intensely hating that man is due to what her mother is feeding her I mean this is why I always feel like when parents are going through a separation or divorce leave children out of your issues with the other parent it's not the child's place to be involved in arguments. It's not the child's place to be involved in adult affairs. I mean, you have her talking about things that were happening before she was born, when she was a few months old. How else would she know this if her mother wasn't telling her this? I think it's really odd that she has so much hate and resentment towards a person she's never spent any time with. And I do believe that her mother is feeding her a lot of stuff. Not saying that her father's innocent. Not saying that her father didn't do this. But again, the way that she's speaking, she's speaking the words of her mother more than she's speaking her own words. OK, that's how I feel about it, because the affairs and the, you know, him fucking strippers and supposedly fucking men that's coming from the mother. OK, this child is clearly hurting, but she definitely needs to keep this behind closed doors. This is not the Internet's business. And the fact that she's posting this online and going off and, and flipping out. I also slightly feel like she's doing this for attention as well. Because again, remember, six days ago, she was like, F the internet, y'all keep coming for me as a cultural appropriator and everything else. So what better way to slide back into social media than to use this supposed situation for sympathy and for people to feel bad for her and for people to be like, oh, you know, Danielle's going through stuff. She has daddy issues. Let's go on ahead and support her. I see through a lot of the BS. I'm not saying she's not hurting. I'm not saying that she doesn't have valid reasons to be upset at her father, but I also find it very convenient that his post triggered her that much that she went live and carried on when just six days ago she claimed she was quitting social media so this entire situation is crazy but i want to do a quick breakdown for you guys who are wondering why she was going off and why she was upset so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation concerning daniel bagoli basically going off on her father wishing him death and everything else how do you guys feel about that do you agree with me that she's hurt but a lot of her statements and the things that she's saying online are the words of her mother and then also do you agree with me that as parents when we're going through separation we need to keep our children out of it so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping make sure you guys hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the thumbs up and most importantly don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad so go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces